Okay, just a quick video to go through um, cones and spheres, finding volumes and surface areas. So first thing you do for the question is you write down the correct formula from the formula sheet. Um, for the volume of a cone, this is what you get given on the formula sheet. And so we write it down, that's the first thing we do. Then we figure out all of the letters we can from the picture and we put them in. So we get given a diameter of 6, which means the radius is 3. And the height is obviously 4, so we change h to 4. We can, you can just stick all of that in your calculator at once and press equals. It gives you 12 pi, and if you press the SD button, you'll get 37.7 to 3 significant figures. Now the volume one's quite straightforward with the cone. A bit more difficult, I think, is the surface area including the base of a cone now it will be implicit in the question whether you are being asked to find the base as well the whole surface area of the cone might be used um, the curved surface area is just the curved bit that points upwards in this picture and it's given by the formula on the formula sheet pi r l we also have a base, which is a perfect circle, which is pi r squared, is the area of a circle. Now the L in our formula, it shows you on the formula sheet, it's the diagonal length. It's called the sloped height of the cone. And we need to use Pythagoras to find this out. Hidden inside our cone is this right angle triangle, and you can see it appearing in blue inside the cone. The radius is the base, the height is 4, which is the height of the triangle, and the hypotenuse is the sloped height. Now we find that in this case, that's going to be the number 5, because we square root 25. And now we're ready to substitute into the formulas that we found to find the curved surface area as pi times 3 times 5, which is 15 pi. And since the base is pi r squared, we can find that out in terms of pi quickly as well and add the two of them together. So 24 pi is our total surface area. And if we tap the SD button, we should get the answer out as a decimal, given here to three significant figures. Okay, a similar sort of idea for a sphere. Um, this one's quite nice because we only have one variable with a sphere, and that is the radius. There's no height or anything like that going on. And this is the equation for the volume of a sphere. 4 over 3 pi r cubed. So we just have to stick 6 where r is. Remember, it's useful to use brackets when you're doing this, so you can really distinguish what it is you're cubing. And if we do that, we get 288 pi, uh, which we will find out as a decimal shortly. Uh, moving on to surface area, 4 pi r squared is taken directly from that formula sheet. So constantly referring to the formula sheet to see what you are given and substituting in the value of r into this formula. When you keep it as simple as this, as taking a formula off a formula sheet, it turns into substitution and nothing more. So keep it simple. Um, calculators can be useful as well as a distraction. I want you to write down what you see on the board and actually show all of that in your calculator. So write down these steps here directly into your calculator before pressing equals and you should find it nice and straightforward. Um, rounded to three significant figures, pressing the SD button will give you the decimal form of the two answers, and it's up to you to round it off. Okay, so this is the final example on this video. We're going to focus on a sphere again, and we are given the volume, but we are asked to find the radius. So this is working backwards. We need that formula to start with. Volume equals four thirds pi r cubed. We substitute in the volume this time, and we leave the r in the equation. This is now an equation we can solve. 
So we go ahead and we solve it. We divide by this horrible thing at the start, 4 pi r cubed, 4 over 3 pi um, pi. We divide by that and it becomes the denominator. And if we cube root everything, we have made r the subject. r is on its own. We cube root that big horrible fraction. And if you make your calculator look like that big horrible cube root, you will get 2.8 eight centimeters to dp. Okay, I hope that does help you a little bit. Um, please, if there's anything that doesn't make sense here, let me know as specifically as possible what it is. If you get problems with any specific questions, the quickest way for me to feedback is to see a picture of the question, a screenshot or something. Okay, thank you for asking questions. I'm very proud of you for doing it. Keep doing it. Keep hammering away. You're doing really well.